This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Just describe for me what love you wanted and I want to tell you how to write that story. To write a beautiful love story, how you know it. Some of your personalities are very adventurous and love for you meant traveling with your loved one. From this country, this station to another one, photos here, relaxing the beach there, that's my wife's love language and it was never my language. Those who say when you're married, you're not supposed to change for anybody. Be yourself. <laughs> Don't marry. <laughs> hey, you will be converted. Hey. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> I was very, I was too intellectual. You know the problem with university in Nairobi law? You hear that language, eh? They really immerse you in the serious life, eh? Of just facts and arguments and, and, and the points. And, and, so you're just full of diction. Instead of saying administrator. You must see administratrix to sound like a lawyer, you know? <laughs> and uh, for the lawyer, you know, the language, the words are the tools of trade, you know. And my learned counsel, my lord, if we present in a verbose way, flamboyant, now we are winning. Here you meet a girl who just wants to dance with butterflies and flowers. <laughs> Ladies, if you want to win serious men, remain playful ladylike connected with nature and easy that's what they don't have these men you're seeing here they are too serious even when you look at them <laughs> you can see it serious men need a relaxing feminine presence you have the ability to think to talk with us to discuss deep things but you don't stay there that's a masculine world work world is masculine it was dominated by men for so long, the culture became masculine, goal-oriented, you know, target. Somebody said if, if, if all the presidents of the world were women, there would never have been Second World War, even the First War, any World War anyway. They would never have gone to fight with the guns, they would just have stopped talking to each other. <laughs> they are not in talking terms, so the world has a moment of silence. <laughs> that would have been the world news. <laughs> So, men are that aggressive warlike. So, the war field and the company, the work world, are structured by men. And it's target, goal, cutthroat, capitalistic. The end justifies the means, cutthroat. If you see Robert Greene, that's how many men think. You've seen anything by Robert Greene, right? Yes. No emotions. Even some of his recommendations is never take responsibility. Always look for a scapegoat. Somebody to blame. Let another die for. <laughs> The 48 laws of power, your boss is using it. You better read it to know what you're being hit with, by the way. <laughs> you can read it for free anywhere now. When you grow up, you read things not to agree with them, but to understand what is happening, isn't it? You don't swallow everything. In fact, anybody who tells who in, who's interested, they'll tell you, you need to know the opposite side, where they're coming from, <laughs> to know how to counter it, isn't it? You may not dare of too much. Just understand, you can even get a synopsis of the book. I'm just saying, I, I wanted a life that is calm, peaceful, and abundant. What is love to you? Is it adventure and traveling? Is it abundance and rich? What is love to you? Is it playfulness, music? Some of you are so musical. What happened to your songs? You used to dance on the table. When you are, if you show me photos when you are a young boy, they, they see you playing, dancing. All your photos, you are smiling. Everywhere there's family photo, it's just a, it's a smiley one. They play. What happened? Oh, life happened. Eh? <laughs> Stop giving life the chance to change you. Some of you, even you are dressing now, I can see you have been made proper. Like a caricature. <laughs> can you grow up? That to think, can, can get. And I see men looking like a cadaver. <laughs> you see, women have become hybrid of men and a man and a woman. So she's female, but the energy is male, dry. She's just there, even greeting. Ladies, can you stop gotai? This is too masculine. 
Don't be a tomboy, be a lady. When they're greeting like that, hold back and do a, a lady like gesture. Mm -mm. That's lady like saying. Soften so that you can bring them to where you are. Stop going into their hard world. Yo, 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 my boy, my boy. Stop that. You are eating mutura with them on the road. Some things are not cultural. They are two men. Maize. You buy maize and you. <laughs> Zuru, how are you? <laughs> Actually, hey. Cool down and eat. Eat well in a compost way. Then, 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 then. You always have those wet things men don't have. Those white, then white, then cool. Sometimes you go, you, you accompany your colleague, you are at a hotel. They are eating in two and a half minutes. <laughs> And you are running after them. You even look weird. I find you there. <laughs> Be ladylike. Maintain your compo your cool. The one thing men like with women, although they don't have the language for it, is decorum. Say decorum. Decorum, decorum is very. It's like a, it's like a queen. Hmm? And you should stop running to work. Why are you staying until seven fifty-two? Seven fifty-two, and then I meet you on the road. <laughs> You are fighting to get into the matatu, you are elbowing, even going through the window. It's too masculine. Too mas now you have to wear trousers because it's a fight. You have to do taekwondo. Somewhere you will have to do taekwondo. You don't do <laughs> Put lady, no, put lady lie. And what queens don't run. Take your time, leave early, you arrive early, you settle. You even polish the environment and put a relaxing music. Men will gravitate to you because you have peace and they don't. Men look like war. He's even sweating. Can you Please, some wipes here. And you, you're just there. Learn to slow your life down by planning better. Stop oversleeping. And don't overeat. When your stomach is making noise, it's weird. Let me, let, let me gossip women with you. They overeat because they came from scarcity. People had to eat everything in sight. <laughs> it's historical. Many homes did not have enough. When it shows up, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> they never unlearned the hygiene of eating just enough. So when your body is too, too full, you are belching badly, you are too busy, you, are, you have to run to the washroom several times. You look weird. Even you are, you, are, you are tensed yourself because you know something is going on. <laughs> Take just enough <laughs> so that you can be at peace. Ladies, let me also surprise you. Carry edibles in your... Carry a piece of chocolate or tropical sweet, something. Do that. Out of nowhere, just pick out your chocolate. Eh? Out of nowhere. <laughs> Men don't do that. They're buying gumu. men's pockets. It's very frustrating. You find all the cre cream crumpled handkerchiefs and uh, tissue. <laughs> but if you look at a lady, the way our mothers would pull out an edible from nowhere. They meet you. There was no plan of meeting you. Oh, you young one, take this. I do it. That's how men perceive femininity. I have been one. There's one lady who was my, my mentor's wife. We were meeting in town for her to give me something to take to another. She was selling some things and somebody had bought and I lived in that area. Oh, in the town, let's meet. She came with a packaged sweet potato for me. I've never forgotten. Why? Men don't know sweet potatoes. They don't buy them to cook them. They buy what is ready. Chapati and madoto. <laughs> <laughs> what is ready now? So those thoughtful things are very feminine. Ladies, go there. Leave these trousers. Why are you coming to our world? Why are you coming into our world? We never wear dresses. Why are you reducing your chances? Oh, she's in a trousers. She's asking. <laughs> there are times for trousers, but I'm saying when you're making presentations to places that matter, be like a lady. Hello. When you're dressing or when you're cleaning or doing other things and you need that kind of freedom or you're going for a walk, that's different. I'm just saying those spaces that you want to show up like a lady. Have proper lady-like dressing. Skirts and dresses. That's how femininity is perceived psychologically, particularly in Africa. That's how our mothers were. Don't put dreadlocks. That's masculine. 
लकी डूबे हो हे 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 why would you put something that is reminding a man no woman no cry <laughs> do you see anything to smile of if you follow the history of reggae it's sadness and victimhood why are you mimicking that i don't know which locks squirrel locks you have a lot of options for lady like feel okay there may be a time we are not saying every but when it's that some of you are so lazy you put what needs no attention because many things are very easy you know they even buy our lotion imagine they have 10 options of lotions there's only one lotion called for men that's what they <laughs> because it was given more attention men sweat more you know and usually cost more but they don't why are they trying ours and we never try theirs <laughs> anyway with lotions it's okay i see them at home i'm wondering for why why not for we no this one you know it's it has this it is last longer <laughs> because men don't carry along the way so after he applies in the money it should stay the whole day <laughs> so yeah, that's a good idea even for them <laughs> <You know? laughs> listen guys ladies you can charm a man by bringing the world he is not a part of charm him put some perfume invest in romantic perfumes some of the perfumes you use as many like hospital medicine <laughs> you're not even giving it thought just buying something something and you know men are because they're not literate they're not exposed to different kinds of fragrances you can just use a consistent fragrance that that is just sweet just that he won't remember he won't know what is the name he have to remind him have you wondered that when you send the man to go buy rice the brand of rice that is you cooked in his house he has to take a photo <laughs> he will be sure <laughs> you know because you keep buying a missing one small detail <laughs> and now it is all of it wasted that's how much we don't really remember detail so don't overthink it get something that's feminine and simple affordable in your budget what is love in your mind was it you and your partner playfully journeying through life I'll give you three suggestions of the kind of life you can build, the kind of love life you can build. Where I was picked from, where I found my parents, I never saw my father and mother smiling. But they got a lot of children, so I know. <laughs> At least <laughs> there was some formal interaction. <laughs> But it would happen in the dark. <laughs> so And ladies you should migrate from saying because I got pregnant with him I must marry him that is a cake getting pregnant is biological doing life is personal and soulish somebody must desire you and want you marry a person who can admire you when you are asleep <laughs> okay I know some people sleep like a generator <laughs> what well, posho meal of the muluya you know Uh, yeah there are many ways of snoring <laughs> there's one for diesel generator gang gang my mother in law said the one time you find the, the husband is sleeping there and the son there so there's the, the happier one here and the, the, the alto so the bass <laughs> grrr, grrr. <laughs> sometimes what we don't realize is a person who admires you will withstand many of your quirks and idiosyncrasies your manner of sleeping when you got married i was waking up like an, a military man when you come from hardship you are always on the run isn't it you you wake up the alarm rings and you know poverty is coming my friend run so i run so wake up like me and you know you wake up until you put everybody in a shock like there's an attack. one time you were in campus my roommate was chewing a lot of mira and it was giving him psychotic dreams nightmares so one time he wakes up in a nightmare screaming so i thought we are being attacked i also started screaming <laughs> neighbors came to find out and we also can't see where the door is see him without the door is in the window and so following him through the door and now the door is that and people are, and they are hearing scream and what happened i don't know what where, 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 where? <laughs> you are going to help your partner even on those small things because where they came from nobody came that close to help them many men have had roommates who are also men they are not into each other's space when you go there the room is smelling but they are not aware themselves they are okay they are just there to that <laughs> but 
adored by fragrances. When you finally marry your wife, there are some things you'll adapt together. How to keep, you know men know how to take shower, but how to wash the bathroom thing took the shower in. <laughs> That's too far. <laughs> the walls are full of soap. You come here now. What is this? Uh, see, this place is for taking shower. I mean, is in that part of <laughs> some of the things I learned <laughs> that you also leave the place you you cleaned yourself in clean, <laughs> and you don't have to use one towel. Uh, by the way, who had told us that? Is it scarcity mindset? <laughs> on the day you have cleaned the tower, you use another improvised tower. Hell, you find funny things. <laughs> Women bring many towels. Can you use this when it is clean? The other way. Uh -huh. That area, you're going to be helped a lot. But let me tell you something, guys. There's one thing I want you to emphasize in your love story. I want you to cherish your body. I'll tell you three things. Cherish your body. Fall in love with your body afresh. Brothers, this is difficult for us. We are not oriented to love our bodies. We are oriented to be hardy. It's like we're ignoring our body. When you love your body for men, I want you to dress well. Just get fitting outfits. Joshua, our fathers were wearing clothes they needed to grow inside. <laughs> they particularly put a suit that is too big for you because you're also growing. Are you growing one cloth? Scarcity. Get fitting outfits. <laughs> get a, a style that makes you pop, that makes you stand out. Get a design that works for you. Men, think about design. Think about it. Stop just wearing easy. You know, some men just wear anything and leave. No, don't just be casual every time. There's a place for formal. We have three forms of dressing, particularly for men. Listen to this. There's street dressing. Street is the one that has inscriptions. You know, you look familiar. Have I threatened you before? <laughs> For ladies, especially with the big bust, all this and brains too. That's street. Street is savage. That's one style of dressing with funny messages. Avoid that. Unless you're also trying to marry Yo, 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 you know, if that's what you're <laughs> hip hop, you know, yo, let me tell you something, man. Gonna see you come and gonna check Vutiawaya, Chaperisto. The young people get mesmerized by that culture somewhere along life. After, after street dressing, which many men are not aware of, and it really sells you badly, it's not a good thing. It shows like you are, you are not maturing. Or you look like either gangster, mafia. It gives you a bad look. That's not what you want. Like you have another underlife. Like you know drug roots. When theft has occurred in the street, police start with you uh, interrogating. Where were you? <laughs> you look suspicious. <laughs> so don't be saying yourself like you are street. And street is, it's not only tattoos, but they are very common. Tattoos and putting teeth, things and piercing and you know and it's, it's called inner city in the west they call it the ghetto you know I call the ghetto man and uh, they, they are known for being tough so the inner core matatus the echoes that are just ruthless the music that is dirty just dirty and it's fighter like fighter like not just angry their culture was oppressed poor and they were like revolution don't go to street the next is casual casual is where you should stand casual is what is smart but not serious. That's the combination. Casual does not look, does not mean careless. People keep mistaking it. Does not look cheap, mean, mean cheap. So men get a casual look. The women of nowadays don't want you to look, to look formal every time. They don't even like it. They like when you can look presentable but easy, relaxed. That's the idea. The final one is called formal. Formal is when you can make more a million presentation. Don't copy Mark Zuckerberg who can appear with a t-shirt talking a lot of, about a lot of money. The culture of these guys is very different and you'll be perceived differently here. You appear like that, nobody will trust you. <laughs> what are you taking us for? Look at how you're appearing, my friend. You think we are just boys? They consider your culture. So official, it's like the way Steve looks. Steve, come. I like this. Let me show you, bro. You see this? This is official and modern. All right? So ladies, do you like this? Thank you, Steve. Are you single, bro? Are you single? Yes, I'm single. Very single. Ah! 
<laughs> Joshu, my mentee here, mentor this boy, as you can see, isn't it? Clearly, you can see, but he's not ready for dating. Don't draw lines. <laughs> he's still growing. This is official. Thank you, bro. Keep it up. Formal. Gabriel, just wave. That's very formal. I like that. My bro here, wave. That's very formal. Show them the suit, bro. I want them to see the suit. <laughs> Buddy, are you single? Very single. <laughs> is there an officially dressed lady? Yes, many of you have mixed it well. Official and uh, formal. But for ladies, the other dynamics. That's why I don't want to, to pick on you. Then I congratulate you for the wrong thing when you look so masculine. <laughs> Let me come to that. <laughs> Some of you only know official. So you always look like an officer. <laughs> Don't look like an officer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so cherish your body, dress it well, feed it well. Please learn to brush more than once. <laughs> Just practice it. By the way, your mouth is not, uh, it's always busy the whole day. So by the end of the day, it has been used a lot and it may give some, uh, some stench. Accept that. And if you're an introvert, that quietness also. <laughs> Means that when you finally talk, <laughs> get breath freshness. Normalize Gary breath freshness. <laughs> Some people, you hug them and you have to pause breathing. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable being around them. Ladies, when you apply perfume, put it on the neck and on the hair. When men hug you, that's what they smell most. And you should hypnotize him there. <laughs> Guys, always put some perfume here. That's, that, that comes close to her when you're hugging. It really works on it. The other, <laughs> the other thing, men, you should invest in a good, in a good perfume. Men, remember that. Not strong, the ones for warrior, those are for children, for teenagers. It should be moderate. But last long, that's the idea. Moderate, last long, because men don't usually carry them around. When you apply in the morning, it can be with you. If you have your feet smell, see a doctor, it can be a bacterial infection. It can be a put off when your mouth, your mouth can also have an infection and your, your feet. If, if your sweat troubles you, work on the kind of clothes you're buying that can absorb, the kind of vests. There are men who just need vest that is just absorbing. All right? Cherish your body, tend to it. Ma, love is very petty. It looks at physical things that are very mundane. Alright? Please. And ladies, don't keep your hair forever. Don't be lazy. When it says, I walked with one lady in the sun and it was very difficult because the hair was smelling when it hit. It was hit by the sun. Was, I was previously thinking we could talk, but... <laughs> <laughs> the date was forestalled <laughs> by unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> Hygiene, <laughs> very important. Ladies don't walk around without innerwear. It is very weird. I don't know where, where that idea came from. <laughs> so that everything, nothing left to imagination. And some of you are endowed. And then as you walk, you are, you are really, you are really emphasizing. You look cheap. Also, don't wear that that bold lining showing us how it is, where it is. Be modest, modest. Don't wear shaggy things every time. Some of you are ashamed of your body. It's like your mother is Mrs. Pastor. You know, and your mother is uh, the, the one on, uh, up there. <laughs> and you can't wear your shape. You must wear the way she is wearing. And they wear funny things. When you come here, learn what works for you. I'm coming for that kind of balancing. But I want you to cherish your body. Feed well. Don't just eat things that are sold in your locality. Add a fruit. Those small things. They really... The best makeup is a good meal, ladies. I hope you know that. Good meal is the first makeup. Not the things you apply foundation one, foundation two, foundation three. <laughs> Eat well, hydrate, take water. The skin will already be very good. And then as you sleep or when you wake up, uh, you know, ladies particularly, men who struggle, I'm still trying to learn that one of applying lotion the whole body. How do you do that, buddy? <laughs> Bro, apparently we are supposed to. <laughs> but men, let's learn at least hydrate your face, hydrate your hands, cut your nails, shape your beards well. Don't look like a, a chihuahua and you are trying to kiss. 
Somebody feels like they're kissing a German shepherd and they have to look for the mouth, go where it is. It's not a good picture. Don't chew, Mira, it is not clean. Somebody kissing you when you have chewed, uh, 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 like they're being beaten by a goat. No, it's not a good romantic moment. Some drugs are not good for romance, like cigarettes, they smell too much. Somebody comes there, when you have taken alcohol and you're trying to have an intimate moment, how are they supposed to be able? Kiss you when no, the whole mouth... <laughs> if you are hoping for that romantic moment, that day, think, don't pollute your body. Don't bring things that are difficult, you are saying, you want your conjugal rights. By the time you are talking about rights, my friend, <laughs> we have moved too far from feelings. And you'll be given the rights, you know rights mean access, you just be given access. And you are left there, my friend, okay, Marina, if we can go, <laughs> you don't have that kind of experience. That's <laughs> not what you want. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart mothers. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, 